Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So guys, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this with your friends guys. So please share this within your WhatsApp student groups so that it can reach maximum number of students and everyone will get benefited through this, I hope. So please do watch the full video guys. Don't skip the video. You may miss some content if you do so. So do watch full video. So now let's see week two solutions of IOT course. Guys, for the past five years, we are giving this NPTEL solutions. So with that confidence only, we are doing these solutions for this season also. So now let's see the first question guys. The full form of MQTT is what? So for first question, the correct answer is option A, message Q telemetry transport, MQTT. So mark option A as correct answer for first question. Guys, I hope almost all questions are correct, solutions are correct. But if you feel there should be any changes to be made, please give your opinion in the comment section guys. So now let's move on to the second question now. So second question, so we have zoomed this for you, for your convenience. So in MQTT, a dash controls the publish subscribe messaging pattern. So for second question, the correct answer is option B, message broker. In MQTT, a message broker controls the publish subscribe messaging pattern. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the third question guys. So third question, which of the following is not a component of MQTT? Not a component of MQTT. So for third question, the correct answer is option B, users. So mark option B as correct answer for third question. So now let's move on to the fourth one guys. So fourth question, dash is an extension of MQTT which uses lightweight attribute based encryption. It has dash main stages. So for fourth question, in the first blank it should be yes MQTT and second one it should be 4. So the answer is option C. So mark option C as correct answer for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one guys. Fifth one, which of the following is based on request response model between endpoints? So for fifth question, so the probable solution is option B, COAP. Now let's move on to the sixth question. Guys, I hope every solution is almost correct, but if there are any changes that come to my point of view, then I will definitely update that in the comment section, guys. So please, once again, watch the video before the final uh, submission moment for any changes possibly. So sixth question, guys. So before getting into the sixth question, I want to make sure that, guys, we are going to announce the exam preparation MCQs. So Internet of Things. So with nearly five years of experience, we have prepared these MCQs guys. So there are two packs available. So wait, please wait. Yeah. Here if you see that. Savings pack and super savings pack. So there are two packs guys. So both are PDF access Google Drive links. So in savings pack you will get 150 MCQs whereas in super savings pack you will get 300 MCQs. 
so which is double than this savings pack right and the price is 300 rupees for 150 mcqs and it is 500 guys 300 mcqs price is 500 if you see the price is doubling uh, for the number of bits in the savings pack but here it is not doubling so you will get uh, each bit for less price compared to this savings pack and both the validities till the exam day you can get the access guys and up to three members can get access for this 300 rupees guys so you can share the money for 100 rupees per each person but you have to form a group and similarly here also for up to five members guys so this five you can five members of your classmates can or friends can form a group and you can combinedly purchase this 500 pack and also topic coverage is medium in savings pack whereas in super savings pack there is high syllabus and topic coverage and search option is also available for both of them you can search questions by using specific keywords and also both are easy to revise even if you uh, you can revise going to the exam also because these are mcqs right and also in pdf so you can easily scroll the questions so with nearly five years of experience we are preparing this pre prepared these solutions guys so what you have to do is you can message me to this email id to purchase any of these savings or super savings pack but i prefer super savings pack only because you are getting more number of mcqs so more mcqs is uh, suggestible uh, considerable because you need more mcqs to get more practice right so that's it guys so you can message me to this email id so if only if you want to purchase then only mail me guys here so already many people have taken our uh, nptl exam preparation pdfs so hope you do so so think smart guys it's better to take super savings pack so up to five members access we can give per each pdf guys so validity also till the exam day not one month or two months so whenever the exam day till then you will get the access guys even if it, even if the dates are postponed also we'll give till the exam day only so you can get lot of time to practice if you take it now so that's it guys so choose the pack carefully so now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question the two sub layers of coap are what <clears throat> so for sixth question the correct answer is option d messaging and request or response now let's move on to the seventh question guys Seventh one. Which of the following is used for real time exchange of structured data? So, for seventh question, the correct answer is third option XMPP. So, mark option C XMPP. Now, let's go to eighth question. So XMPP uses dash architecture. So for eighth question, the correct answer is option B client server architecture. Now let's move on to the ninth question. So with respect to AMQP, which of the following message delivery guarantees allow for each message to be delivered certainly as well as to be delivered multiple times. So for ninth question, the correct answer is option A, at least once. So now let's move on to the tenth question, guys. So for tenth question, the correct answer is option D, none of this. Now let's move on to the eleventh one. So for eleventh question, the correct answer is all of this. Next let's move to the 12th one so for 12th question the correct answer is option b indirect so 13th one it is absolutely true and moving on to the 14th question the last but one question the answer is option b star and mesh so now let's move on to the final question of the assignment that is 15th one so here the correct answer is option A false. So friends these are the solutions for week 2 assignment answers. Hope this video helpful for you. Keep supporting us like this. Until then goodbye. Thank you.